Hello, Stitchy friends. My name is Vicki Stitch and Button, and I am here for floss tube number 73. Today is January 27th, 2021, and I skipped two weeks ago. Just wasn't into it. America was imploding, and I wasn't feeling it. So here I am, a couple weeks late, but I didn't have a lot to show anyway, so it was okay. You didn't really miss much. Um, I don't have tons to show today either. I think I've been more on a working on one thing for like a week or half a week or if I do stitch there's been a few days where I wasn't stitching. I got bags done. I started cutting more bags. I started working with my Cricut some more and so there's not tons of stitching but there's some so I can show you something right. Uh, let me see. Oh, uh, correction. I had shown you a the Eagles mascot uh, as a finish a few weeks ago. I think it was before the new year. And after I looked at it, I noticed there was some back stitching done. But it's done. Now it's done. Uh, Semi Sane had a little finish the whip weekend. And I went and did those few things. And... It was just some white on the black to give the wings and the feet some definition. Got it done in no time. I thought I might finish uh, Oh Too Tight. That didn't happen. Where is that? Oh, I almost forgot to pull that one out because I did work on it. So um, I thought I, I could have finished it, but then I sort of slacked. It is, uh, we'll go into whips, huh? It's this one. It's from Sue Hillis. And I think it's hysterical. I didn't use all the called for colors. I just sort of picked some of my own. I picked a variegated to do the uh, hat and scarves for each one of them. What I did, basically... I did all this and then I took it out and then I did it again <laughs> and I finished the white around his other eye that's all I got done I I don't know where I miscounted but I ended up taking out most of it and uh, best laid plans right I basically just have to do his body and then the little black bits there's a uh, there's snowflakes and I don't think I'm going to do them. I have a couple of snowflake charms if I'm so inclined. But I don't think I want to do the snowflakes. So there's that. I think it's still going to be cute. Neither here nor there. No matter. I am not liking this fabric. I think that's part of the reason why I'm sort of making my... You see how see-through that is? I am... Um, making myself just finish it because I'm not going to start it over again either I'm going to do it or I'm not going to do it uh it'll look fine once I get it mounted on to something I might have to put something dark behind it a piece of dark fabric or something to make it really pop but it eventually will get done right let's see What's next? This is my piece that I'm working on this week, basically due to uh, semi-sane and magical stitches. I decided not to do full coverage this week. I just wasn't feeling it. So semi-sane is doing Nerdapalooza until the 31st, and magical stitches has put in a thousand stitches and talk about a, a mythical creature. Uh, it doesn't have to be in your stitching. So you just have to give a little name one and then tell why. So what I decided to do was double dip. Well, it's not double dip, and it's just using it for more than one challenge in two different groups. And I'm doing uh, Doctor Who. This one's from Oh My Stitches Shop. And I started this last year sometime. I bought the Witch, the Wizard of Oz one also. But decided to start with this one out of the two of them i got this far so far i should have got a board that's what i should have done 
Here, that'll work. Okay. So, what have I done? I've done all this. This is uh, the color 34. I did all that. I did the white here. And I did some of this blue here. So, I haven't gotten too many of the stitches done. Maybe a couple hundred so far. So, I need to get working on that. I do like the way it's turning out. And this fabric is Dapple. 32 count Dapple uh, by Picture This Plus. And I'm using the called for DMC colors. So there's no guesswork in that. That other fabric that I said I don't like, I, I'm almost positive it's a Perman linen. And anybody that knows Perman linen's got really thin threads, so it's bigger holes. And it just looks gauzy. Not gaudy, gauzy. All right. What is next? Last week, I worked on a whole bunch of white. I basically did, I think, 1,200 white stitches. And I was going for, I think, 15. But I ended up doing either 1,000 or 1,200 for the prompts for last. And... This went for Semi-Sane. This is uh, Spirit of the Dragonfly by uh, Carol Calaveras. She just passed away last year. I saw the name. I was like, that looks familiar. I think one of my hades. And, yep, it's this one. So, this one went for Full Coverage Fanatics. It went on something for Semi-Sane. And it also, I think it went for Magical Stitches. And, really, I only did white stitches. You could barely even see it the difference it's just that's it all the way to here <laughs> i think when i start up again because i'm pretty close to the page over here the page finish these by the way this is a 20 by 20 block not a 10 by 10 so it makes it look a little deceiving it is 25 count one over one and um i forget if, if this is called easy guide fabric but yeah it's 20 by 20 so it was really easy to do the white stitches and just pound through those. I think when I come back to it, I want to start doing some some more of this here. Because that's just getting a little monotonous for me. It's weird. There's a shading in there that's not here when I'm looking at it. That's what was weird. Anyway, so I got that, that much done. Which is, I mean, everything's something, right? I think I'm at 1% or something like that. This is my Garon bag. This one's so pretty. All right. And I have been busy, just not all stitching busy. Uh, like, oh, last week also. Might have been the week before for the, uh, I think it was the week before last for the Dragonfly. Last week I did a bunch of stitches on Yoda. Yoda came from Valente Cross Stitch. And there's only a few colors in it. I am stitching this on fabric. I'm pretty sure it's 32 count. Came from Slovak Farms. And this is how much I got done. I get, did all the green in his head and ears. And now it's time for some of those browns. So I got a good portion of that done. I think it was over a thousand stitches, if I remember correctly. And that also went for the semi sane Nerdapalooza. So I'll be able to get in at least two entries out of the five that I picked. Because apparently I have a lot of nerdy stuff. <laughs> I'm okay with that. There's a thread. All right. That my way. All right, what did I do? Well, I fixed Anzac. This is Anzac from Long Dog Samplers. A lot of people have seen this one. I am doing mine on 28 count even weave black, and I'm using Romy Creations uh, Arrow McCall. This one looks washed out. There we go. Looks good. So before I had to, before I started stitching again, I had to take out a whole bunch of stitches. I think pretty close to 500, I think. One over one. Hmm. That was fun. 
anyway, so I did that. After I did that, I decided to come down this way because that's this is part of what I took out. And I started my way down here. I felt I did it for a prompt. I don't know if it was a non counting or what. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I did it for one of the prompts and I got this far. I did notice that there is another mistake. This guy is one stitch, I think, too far up. Or, I don't know, it's one either up or down. But that's okay. I don't need to take them out. I just need to pay attention down here and make sure it all lines up. So, I made made some progress after I picked out all those stitches. I'm still liking it. it. It's not as hard to stitch as I thought it might be because of the black, because of the one over one. Maybe I'm just getting used to it because of one over one on 25 count. But uh, I'm glad I fixed it before I tried to stitch on it somewhere else. It probably would have gone somewhere forever. <laughs> forever. All right. What else did I work on? A couple more things. All right. So there was another full coverage thing that I did and I put it in. I started to do the bingo for full coverage fanatics. And I also signed up for the trek around Iceland and something else, I think. And I realized I was overwhelming myself trying to do too many things. So I dropped bingo. But before I dropped bingo, I did get in one spot, uh, which I did with Ugly Birds. This is the Story Keep from Ciro Marchetti. And... I ended up putting in a thousand stitches on this. I'm trying to think of what I did. I know I did all this stuff down here and I did a lot of fill in. So I filled in a lot of the stuff in here. I think I came across here a little bit and then I did all this greenery down here. And I think I'm at like one or two percent on that, which is crazy. But it's thin, so it's not as large as a regular aid is. That is uh, one over one on 25 count easy grid. Let's see, next. All right, so my next one is Hunter. I started Hunter for New Year's with Amy from Amy Loves Toads. I'm gonna just take out a plastic. This is Hunter, it's a Jean-Baptiste Mange, Mange. Um, it's printed by Lena Lawson Needle Arts. I don't know if you can find it or not. They're hard to find because she's not been printing them out. Uh, so your guess is as good as mine as to where to get it if you're interested. <coughs> now, I use just about every green in DMC. <laughs> and there's... And because I guess there's not enough DMC greens or it's even two blends, but that's okay. I decided to do mine on uh, a Moonlit Tree, I think this is called, by Fabric Flare. So I started at the bottom on his back leg to make sure the placement was going to be okay in the fabric. And I'll show you the stitching. I think so far it looks good, and I'm almost positive this was like 800 stitches or a little over 800 stitches which is not bad for a start and it looks good if i do say so myself but that looks good i know amy started hers in the center she's got like an eyeball or the outlines of an eyeball and uh amy i know you're watching no stress please don't be stressed over this if you get it done you get it done don't feel bad if you don't work on it okay because who knows when I'll work on mine. But at least we're doing something together. Somewhat together. And I do love it. I think he's still just too damn adorable. Alright. Now. I have some things I did. And I made some plans. I have. Okay. Put this over here. I was going through some of my charts, you know, every once in a while you go stash diving. And I found this one, and I'm pretty sure somebody gifted me this chart. 
uh, like I was going to buy it and somebody gifted it to me from uh, the whole Stitch and Caboodle, one of the gals there. And um, I really do like this. And it says, be your own kind of fabulous. And I, I am so there with that. I am, that, that is, yes, please just be your own person. Uh, do what you like, do what you want. As long as it's not hurting anybody, we're all good. So, <coughs> I went and kitted it up. I ended up having to put in an or well, I have to, but of course, you know, having one are very similar in the stitching world. So, I had a lot of the uh, called for threads, and I figured, you know what, let's go called for, because I like the colors. And I think I ended up getting all but one. Uh, I went on to uh, Garon Stitchery. And ordered the threads. And then not only did I order that, but I had to... So this is a two-part. Let's. I ordered some other stuff that I'll show you in a second. So I ordered the threads. They had all but one of them that I needed, which is not a big deal. I can go, and when I'm ready, I'll just pull something that's very close. It's good. It's all good. And I knew I'd get it quick, because they, they ship out, like, next day, and I get it in, like, two... When I say next day, I'm making an order at like 3, 4 in the morning. And literally that morning, Ronnie's up with his peppy little self and packing it up and putting it in the mail. Because I know him. Um, anyway, so I chose all the called fours. Not just because, oh, it called for it. But it was colors I didn't have and I don't mind having them. Sometimes... With some of them, it's like three stitches here, four stitches there. But some of these looked like they were really cute colors and I could use them elsewhere. Because you guys know, I will just toss in whatever color I feel like. I've got enough dead threads, you know. So, anyway, so I went to look for some fabric. And last year, if you remember, I was getting that um, fabric of the month from the Fabric Party. MyFabricParty.com. And this year I just decided because I know what they have, I'll just order what I need as I need it. Because I have a bunch and I think I'm more apt to n want to know what I'm buying when it comes to fabric. I mean, it's a good club if you're if you're starting out. You just want to bring up, uh, you know, build up your stash and stuff like that. Or you can't make a decision on which pretty you want next. So... Anyway, this is one of the ones from the Fabric of the Month. Now, the bottom part was this. You know, folded in half. See, see, there's like this floral situation going on here. And I forget exactly what this one was called. But as it went up, it was more of a sky look with some modeling. Very, uh, very light modeling at the top. So it wasn't as severe as this. But I think this is going to go really good with these colors. I think that's going to look good this isn't even a great picture but i think it's going to look good on this so i found so i wasn't even sure what i'd use use it for but i was like it looks like something i should have and apparently i was right so i've decided i don't know when i'm going to start it but it's one of the ones i would like to start soon because i'm not doing the no new starts thing although i'm not being an antagonist an antagonist to those that are doing it i'm just gonna start if I feel like starting something and I'm trying to work on what I have so it's not like I'm going to for all the starts like I did last year it's just if something catches my eye and I want want to start on it I will start on it so let me see so that I, I got the threads from there and of course you can't just buy some threads you got to find something else they had this one and I had looked at it before this is from Ink Circles, the queen that was. So I decided to do that. I don't think I want to do it on this black, though. And I think that's why I didn't get it before. Because when I first looked at it, I was sort of meh. But I think I will do it on a different color. Not sure. I just liked it, so I bought it. And then I've been looking at it, and I figured, why not? I went and bought the Garon Franck 32 Count Lugana. Because I have plenty of uh, Halloween stuff and uh, other charts that can go on that. So I decided to go ahead and get that from them. Now, what else have I done? 
I went and when I'd made bags the last time, I decided to make myself a couple also. One of the ones that I did for myself, and I think I mentioned it on here, was I said I was going to make my Betty Boop bag. Well, I did. What I did was I ended up taking the stitching that was, uh, this was stitched up and sent to me from Candace Slub Lover Stitches. And uh, Shelly Key X Stitch gave Candace the this fabric and said put that with it so she sent this and the stitched piece I knew I wanted to make a bag of some sort out of it and I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do so after a while I figured I put a double seam it's kind of hard to see I put like a double seam going around I put interface on the back folded it down ironed it did a double seam around it so it won't rub rub or pull off the back Put it right on the backing and then I made my bag like I normally do. So I use this fabric for the outside. I use this for the inside and this is fabric that I had already have. I had a bag made out of it and I just put that on the front because I thought it looked cute. And then I made this zipper pull with this lipstick and the red and black. And right now this one's housed in it. It's Spangled Happiness from Needle Bling Designs. It's really cute. That one's going to go on this, uh, what's it called? I now wrote it down. I think it's Picture This Plus. Oh, it's the one with the red, white, and blue from Picture This Plus. I forget what it's called. Totally. Psh out, out of my head and I didn't write it down. Sorry. Alright. And I'm using uh, Victoria Motto threads with that. I haven't started this one yet. It's one that I'd like to start this year sometime. When. When the want. Or the need to. Um, it's me. Okay. So. I made a couple more purchases. Well. Monthlies. Uh, this one is my December Christmas Cactus from Fortnite. Uh, this is looking a little bit more minty on my screen than it really is. It's more of a, a green, not mint green. More of a grass green. Just not kill your grass green. I don't even know how to explain it. Anyway, I love this color. And then I got my January in. Uh, last year I was doing 32 count. Um, this year I'm doing 28 count because I have a bunch of 32 count and I'm doing the duos. So I got Laverne and Shirley. And just so you know, just in case you're worried, they don't stay staple this on. I do that. I do it on the salvage just so the card stays with it. They put it in a bag with the card in the bag. So I staple that onto the salvage myself. I am loving both of these guys. This Laverne and Shirley is a really nice purpley pink color I think it'll um I think it'll be really nice for maybe one of my mirrors now I wasn't sure here here's the thing if you sign up for my fabric party anytime you want to cancel um you don't I thought I'd email them and say hey I'd like to cancel for you know and uh, that's not how it works because I messaged Cindy. She said, no, you have to do it yourself and you have to do it through PayPal. So they do an auto pay with PayPal. And when you sign up for that auto pay, there's a way to go in. Don't mind me. I'm clipping threads while I'm talking to you. Uh, so there's an auto pay and you go into your PayPal activity. Look at the last auto pay. I think that's how I found it or or your account, or there's a way to do it in PayPal, and I forget, you're going to have to look. If you if you really need to know, message me or something, and, and I can figure it out for you. But anyway, there's a way to do it in PayPal, and you have to cancel the automatic payments. So, thinking that I canceled for this year, I, I ended up <laughs> auto-paying for another month. And so, I ended up with the January uh, Fabric of the Month, and... This is the one I ended up getting. It sort of looks like the Sprite colors spilled all over this fabric. 
not my favorite Gavork. I don't know. This one was a dud for me. But I've been needing white fabric anyway. So silver lining, it doesn't show on this side. So now I have a piece of 32 count white on this side that I can use. It's not a big deal. Um, Cindy has no... It, she she doesn't design decide on the designs. He does that all on his own. He doesn't like confer with her on what she thinks would sell, which he probably should, because this is not a favorite. Uh what else? Coffee. That's what else. My dog needs to go pee. Just sit down. You're gonna have to wait. We're almost done. <laughs> all right. I received a bag, uh, package in the mail, and it was from my friend Diana. She lives in South Philly. I think I told you guys we had the same address, just different streets. And we were like a city block away from each other. Uh, she sent me a package. She knows I'm a cross-stitcher. She's also a cross-stitcher. And uh, this was a total surprise. I got this bag. It's a reusable shopping bag. And... Uh, I don't know where she got it from. Let's see. No, it doesn't. Have, it has a snap at the top. But it doesn't tell me where it's from. Okay. Probably uh, Joanne's. It says, crafting starts with coffee. Well, duh, yeah. That's a great bag. Especially if I'm going shopping or something. Or toting some cross-stitch. Because you always need seven, 17 minimum. That was my dog, I swear. <laughs> Really? <laughs> she sent this cute card with it. This little owl. And she sent this pencil case. Along with these tags. Which are so cute. Just two of each. And... She sent this fabric. I don't know what town it is. I'm going to have to put it on the gauge and figure it out. This fabric. And these five rolls of metallic. They are Diamant from DMC. There's a red, a green, a silver. like a black I guess that's supposed to be like a black or an iron and a gold and I've never used that thread before so I'm kind of curious she also sent me a tassel maker she said she thought I could prob probably use it for when I'm making um so she had to do it right on the back look at that for when I'm doing my finishes and stuff it might come in handy and she's right it it might so uh, definitely, I didn't have one of those. <laughs> All right. So thank you, Diana, so much for this package. It was definitely a big surprise and put a smile on my face. And I'm trying to make sure I didn't forget anything. The only other thing I've been doing is playing around with my Cricut. I made some stickers and I found out about... The self adhesive laminate to make the stickers, and I was playing around with that today. Let me see if it's on here. So, I made these ones today, and it says, Let your smile change the world, but don't let the world change your smile. I thought that was cool. I ended up making a lot of them because I was trying to get the cutting right. So it would cut through the paper and the laminate, but that's okay. I'll put them on letters and stuff like that. I also, the other day when I first did it just on the sticker paper without the laminate, I made this yoga sloth. And then a fail was this teacup that had their aroma coming out of the top, but didn't cut it the way I wanted it. I thought I was going to put it in an oval, but it cut out around and I didn't want it to. So you play, you love, you learn, right? Anyway, so I did those, then I decided to try my hand at thread drops. 
So I've decided that I'm going to start putting thread drops in on my for sale on my group. I did order the rings, the metal rings. Let me see. Um, like this, this metal ring, but two inch. I'm doing two inch rings and it'll have a dozen. And this is the shape that they'll be. And I put this hole on the side. Let me see. There you go. So this hole is on the side for the threads that you're using. You know, you take off the big skein and put on a little bit on the side. I also will give a dozen of these stickers to put on here that'll peel there they'll be able to peel them off and uh I think you can even find these stickers in the dollar store. I mean I bought these online but I think you can find these little tag stickers in the dollar store for replacements. So it's gonna be a dozen on a ring that's like this but two inches. And uh I'm not sure of the price point just yet. I'll figure all that out when I go when I get the rings in and put them up on my group. So keep an eye out. I have the green and the blue for right now and these yellow and red. Are these the red? Yeah. And then these pink. The red and the pink are pretty close when you're not paying attention, by the way. <laughs> um, so that's a thing. They're made out of heavy cardstock paper. So they're pretty durable, matter of fact. I did some of some other cardstock paper, but I didn't have the hole cut out in the side, and I ended up punching my own hole. But, um... So these ones I just have as extras. But I'm using them for a little thing that I just kitted up. <sighs> what else? There's not too many bags left in the group. And I have a bunch that I'm kidding out. I mean, um, cutting out. Cut out a bunch yesterday. I have a few more over here that I need to cut out. And then I need to start ironing and everything. Uh, my Walmart is not allowing me to buy vinyl or anything by the yard that needs to be cut and measured. So my vinyl is getting harder to find. This one is the one I'm using right now. I was able to get that at a different Walmart. It's a slight, it's like the next size thinner than the thick one that I've been using. It's still okay, but I prefer the thicker one. Um, but that's all I can find. So... And I know I've gotten offers for people to mail me. It's just too hard. It's very heavy. It, the, it's 60 inches wide. And it's heavy and cumbersome. And needs to be rolled up and flat. So thank you. But I, it's just not worth it in the long run. Uh, what else? Nothing. Not much. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope your stitchy bug is in full effect and that you are enjoying yourself i hope <clears throat> no one's sick and if you're sick you're getting well all right i'm good we're all good here so it is what it is and it's just another day it's kind of boring i mean not that i mind boring but trust me i'm not saying that is a bad thing but i'm okay i'm in a lull where i'm just flowing and ebbing normally and i'm good with that some, sometimes it's nice to be kind of boring and having a regular day. I'm good with just a regular day. So there's that. All right. Don't forget, don't let anyone steal your sunshine. Hopefully I'll see you in a couple more weeks.